Hey guys, back again. Jumping snail. Playing some more Warwick Jungle. Uh, really enjoying it at the moment. Uh, doing pretty well as well. Uh, even when you mess up a bit, you can still make enough plays to recover and carry your team. Uh, so I'm jungling against Gragas this game. This Gragas is actually a platinum player. Uh, so I'm currently in gold. So this is going to be a nice test to see how I go against someone ranked higher than me. Let's watch. Uh, I'm going to go usual wander over here, invade the red buff. I should be, I think I get there a couple of seconds too late. Spawns at 1.30, but like three seconds or something, not bad. Anyway, he does his blue start. This Scion has just decided he wants to sit in the bush level one. Not what I'd recommend if you're a level one tower defending as well. Always go cover an entrance to your jungle or something. Do something useful level one day. Don't AFK at your turret if you can avoid it. I understand maybe you've got real life stuff going on in the beginning of the game, but it's really nice for your team if you can just defend their jungle or whatever. If if Azir or Fiora just stood there level one, I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, so I've got enough free buff. Um, nobody's my bot lane's actually watered in two places in my jungle. What a bunch of champions, really. Uh, so they, we now know that if Gragas comes to try and take my red buff, uh, well, after I've taken his red, I'll, I'll spot him out and then I'll know that he's doing that and I can either go and contest him or just avoid him, depending on the situation. Uh, so he walks in, walks all the way into the bush to make sure I'm not doing it as he comes in and goes about doing his race. Uh, I went back to my blue, did that, then I did Gromp. A um, little bit of a fight here, I'm just going to rewind it quickly to show you. Uh, so Riven's level 2 before Fiora, she hits level 2 now, and some poking, very nice W there. So uh, Fiora's W blocks an incoming uh, spell or damage for like half a second or something, and if, uh, if it would CC her, it CCs the other person instead. So you can see Riven jumped in with her third Q and would have knocked her up. And done damage but she blocked it and instead cc'd riven she turned the fight around a lot if you look at this fiora's health 9 10 11 3 hp she reposts the rest of the burn damage and survives now if that's not unlucky i don't know what it is pretty pretty good for her i'm feeling a bit robbed i've <laughs> i've queued her and autoed her on the way out with red buff 3 HP surviving, can't get much closer than that. Bit sad, but you know, that's life some days. Well played by her to have a W up again and be able to time it perfectly for a burn tick. Uh, Fiora TP'd, uh, Fiora TP'd back straight away. You'll see that she's actually only about half HP. Bad move. Um, Riven, even though she's low, just leveled up to level 3, she took a bunch of minion damage. I've walked straight back up. Gragas is sitting here on not much health. First blood, easy. So Riven played that really well. She got the knock up. Uh, the tower aggro came in and she shielded herself out to avoid the damage. Um, Fiora, so uh, Riven is really crazy here. Like I'm, I'm pretty low. She's really low. Gragas level four. She wants to dive this guy. So I put on my fear. He dodges away. I walk out because I think I will just leave him. But then Riven goes in. Uh, Triumph heal, I think, saves her life here. So Triumph is just uh, one of your runes where when you get a kill or an assist, you get a portion of your mana and uh, health back uh, as compensation. So in really close fights where you kill someone and the minion damage would normally kill you, the Triumph heal will often save your life. And in that case, I think it probably did. So really well played by Riven to know her limits there. Um, and I just flash in to make sure I can secure the kill um, even though I kind of wasn't keen on the dive to begin with because it was so risky, but we pulled it off. It was really good. Um, mid lane LeBlanc against Azir. Azir's recalling LeBlanc damage a bit bit too strong early. Um, Twitch gets a kill on MF, which is a bit sad. Uh, this spot lane is actually quite a violent lane uh, for a lot of this game. Let's see a bit of that. This top lane is also really violent, and yeah, Fiora just being dumb. Level 5 Riven, level 3 or 4 Fiora. Not a great idea to be engaging on that. Uh, I've gone back to do some jungle camps. Uh, I got a Tiamat straight away with my two kills on a Fiora. 
Um, so I'm quite ahead of this Gragas now. I'm the same CS, but I've got two kills and he's got a death. Uh, he's level five though, which is really insane. Uh, I've just hit five, but I think he's actually up on XP. I walk through a pink ward here. They don't move for so long. I actually thought they were just going to back up and I start clearing it. I've actually killed it before they start moving back. Uh, Sion's going to slow me and knock me up here, so I'm just going to concentrate on him. Fear him off. Um, now, Morgana lands a binding on Twitch. Really good stuff. Um, Twitch heals. MF thinks she can finish him with an auto, but Twitch flashes beforehand. It's really dangerous. Uh, I actually smite a minion and dash to, <laughs> dash to him. I don't know why I smite a minion. Sometimes that helps, but uh, I think I was worried about minion damage, but I think she also leveled up. Uh, yeah, so Twitch super low. I want to I wanna go kill him, but I can't. So we just push the minions into the turret. That's okay. Uh, LeBlanc in a pretty crazy fight against the Zier here as well. I'll show you. It's a nice binding. Ignite. Passive. She controlled her clone a bit better. It would be nicer. She could have got an extra auto, I think, with that, as far as I'm aware. This is, uh, this is another awkward fight here. So, level 5 Riven. First level 4 Fiora. Um, you can see she's just about to level up. So, level up. She immediately backs off. Levels up. R uses it. Somehow survives. And Gragas, well played. He actually uh, E flashed. So, he starts charging and then he knows he's not going to make the whole distance. So, before his E runs out, he flashes to the location of Riven, knocks her up. Summoning her, uprooting her from getting the last hit and securing the kill for himself. So it was really well played by him. Uh, he then goes and gets his red buff. I'm clearing my jungle. I've actually lost track of jungle timers. I should probably be here. Uh, that's me not paying attention, but turns out it's alright because uh, Fiora and Gragas would have come and killed me anyway. Whew. Anyway, uh, I go back to base. I have Bami Cinder, Tiamat, Boots, Machete. 43 CS, 2 kills. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, way ahead of where I, I usually am at this portion of the game. Uh, CS is reasonable. Um, Fiora's still not level 6, so Riven's trying to punish. Um, this matchup, a lot of it is about whether Fiora can use her W at the correct time. So right there, uh, you'll see Riven had her third Q up, and Fiora played, played the, the fight. Uh, assuming that Riven would just Q straight onto her. I tried to block the knockup, um, but unfortunately Riven waited a fraction of a second, waited for her W to go out, and then knocked her up. And uh, Fiora lost the fight because of that. So well played by Riven, just baiting out the baiting out the Fiora W. The Fiora W's got a quite a long cooldown as well. Uh, so I think that's mine. Placed a pink ward there earlier, so that's spotted Gragas out. Yep. Now, I've actually misplayed this here. Oh, I'll go back and show you. So I've got my ult up. Uh, I'm doing scuttle here. Uh, I finish clearing this, and then I walk mid because I see Gragas coming. So we're trying to bait this here. I think we think our level two is better. Now, all I have to do is walk up to them, to be honest, and just fear them both. But I engage with my ult, and then that leaves them time to ult me away with either his cask or a zero war. Uh, so that's a mistake by me. And it does actually cost me later. I'm trying to get in range of his ear to fear him, but I just miss. And then I know that if the fear doesn't go off, I'm not going to do anything. So I walk away while he uh, tags me with a few autos and stuff. Uh, LeBlanc is still keen to fight this. Um, goes in, my cooldowns are all off. I've only got my Q up, and that's not good enough. Um, she nearly gets it. I actually block the Gragas Q. Uh, Azir gets a shield from his E, and LeBlanc takes two turret hits and gets killed. Gragas secures the second kill of the game. Bit sad. I have to now run, because uh, I'm quite low from blocking a bunch of stuff for LeBlanc. LeBlanc, honestly, I mean, I, I understand you got to try and make plays and everything, but we're already pretty ahead in this game, so it was kind of unnecessary, and it kind of backfired. Um, Thankfully, I don't I think this is here does anything too amazing this game, so it doesn't. I don't think it costs us. But you know, small advantages everywhere uh, often mount up. I'm just going to sit mid and just take the farm because 
I spent a lot of time at HP doing stuff. Uh, Gregor tries to go on me a bit. Doesn't doesn't work. I'm just gonna farm. Uh, bot lane again. Lots of stuff happening. The, the level six all ins from Twitch and Sign are actually quite devastating. Um, so you see, he just charges right into MF. He doesn't. The support doesn't even doesn't even need the Twitch damage. Uh, Twitch dies. Morgana gets the kill, but that's still not great for us. We go to support kill for an 80 carry kill. It's not a great trade. Um, sign alt, very good there. Greg is going back to farming. Top lane, still just looking to fight each other. Um, Fiora struggling a bit. Um, something interesting I'll show you here. Uh, so have a look at the vitals here. So Fiora tags the vital there. The next vital is here. So Riven stands against the wall so that Fiora can't hit this side of her and can't proc the vital. So now Fiora's trying to Fiora's trying to get beneath Riven to hit this area, which gives her the bonus damage, move speed, all that business. Um, Riven very smartly standing against the wall. Really good. Uh, unfortunately, Gragas walks through wards. Riven not paying enough attention. Um, Riven just trying to finish it off, but Fiora uses W to make sure that she doesn't just get all in and dies. Uh, and Gragas picks up another kill. Uh, Fiora not picking up any kills, but has a couple of assists, so that's kind of okay, I guess. Uh, I don't know how the uh, Riven vs Fiora matchup is supposed to go. Um, anyway. I've seen Gragas top, so I'm just going to do a dragon. Fine with me. Um, kill for a dragon, I'm alright with that. Uh, bot lane again gets all in, uh, but this time better result. So we've got a bunch of minions extra here, so we've got a big minion wave. You don't want, if you're the red team, you don't want to fight into this because that's a lot of extra damage. See all these minions whacking on him. Great MF ult here, just smashes both of them down. Um, Sion with, yeah, hilarious. Uh, Sion has barrier, randomly, I think. Yeah, he's got barrier, that's an interesting one. I guess you engage and then you just use that to negate extra damage on yourself that your shield can't absorb. Interesting idea. Um, if you're a TP top, uh, Riven's still up in XP, Greg is coming through for the gank, uh, but well played by LeBlanc for coming up for a counter gank. Uh, oh, that was the closest fight you could have, it was down to who autoed faster in the end, and LeBlanc finishes that off, ignites him, probably doesn't need to be. Uh, Zia wants to come and pick up a double kill here, because she's on very low HP, and so she, but he ends up going over the wall the wrong direction and this is it. Lucky for us. I think Riven's trying to bait here. Um, and certainly gets his attention but I don't think anything's going to come of it. Yeah, just wasting his time. I think she should stop though because she's wasting her own time as well. Uh, Alright, bot lane again. Things are happening. We're going to ult, only hitting Scion, not the best. Uh, if you want to bind him as soon as possible, it's probably not up. There we go. Yep, Twitch barely surviving. I walk in, got my fear on. Fear him, kill him. Uh, ult Scion, he flashes away. I flash after him, but I shouldn't have. I didn't realize LeBlanc was there. Had I known LeBlanc was there, I would have just walked after him. She would have CC'd him, no big deal. Uh, so I lose, a, lose out on a kill there. Oh, sorry, lose out on the flash there for the kill uh, when I didn't need to. Uh, does it cost me? I can't remember. Uh, Greg is warding over the wall, blah blah blah. He just runs away. Uh, <coughs> go back to doing our things. I want to go get my red buff here or pushing down top because uh, Riven got ganked. Riven did not die to the gank, thankfully. Gonna get my red buff. Greg is doing his stuff. I've lost track of his jungle and he's actually strong enough that I don't really want to invade him at the moment. None of my laners is winning super hard. Um, these guys fighting. I feel I was running away. I think Riven just sees I'm coming and I'm running super fast. Fiora just flashes under turret. I mean, I don't know. I guess I don't get 
another kill or an assist for it, but I don't know if that's worth a flash. Questionable, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so I'm going into... I want to go invade jungle, because I've got pressure and mid on uh, top. Uh, Gregus comes through. I'm just walking over. I'm baiting. I want her to bait this. Um, so I just, I'm going to keep keep encouraging them to try to fight us by taking his camps and making him pissed off, basically. Uh, we've got a lot of HP and level um, differences here. LeBlanc just one-shots him. Just a little bit too slow on my ult. I was holding it just in case Azir came over and I was going to come down onto him, jump jump over the wall, but all good. I uh, got Gragas Flash for it, it's not bad. Uh, I'm going to take his red buff, he's a bit greedy. I think he wants his Fiora to come over. Uh, I'm, I'm down to 2v2, even 1v2. Uh, to some degree, I probably got probably a little bit greedy to two v uh, two v one, but uh, it's all good. Gragas backs off to get mid. Fiora doesn't want to respond to a jungler's request for help. Uh, bot lane, this Scion is really he's pushing his luck a bit here. Um, so they're pressuring very hard. Twitch getting some decent damage down. I think at this point, Twitch realizes he's low and LeBlanc's missing. So he runs away. Good idea. LeBlanc just kills him anyway. Cyan ult. Uh, now, had he realized that she was still there, maybe he would have turned around and killed her. Not sure. Um, LeBlanc was a little bit invisible there, so a bit hard to tell sometimes. Um, I just want bot lane to go back off and take the kills and leave. Um, that was a close, close one. Greg's coming down, clearing out pink. I'm just farming mid while my mid lane is roaming bot. Um, this is really nice because she can roam and gank when my ult's down and I can just sit mid and farm. I'm not going to get poked to death. I've actually got a level advantage, even though he's full mana, but he's, you know, he's got nothing really. I've actually got more CS and i got four kills on him. A little bit unfortunate there. Uh, Greg is picking up a kill on MF. Uh, she just stayed when she was too low, that's all that was about. Uh, Riven picking up Fiora again top. Uh, quite low, but no one, everyone's visible on the map or dead, so she can just pick up some CS. Uh, another... Oh, another fight going down mid. Really close fight, really close fight. That was really quite, that was quite cool to see. Slow down. So she leads with the Q, the E lands. That was weird. Second E. Zonya's the second part, well played there, so he doesn't get double stunned. Another Q, and the ult into turret. Her clone takes the first hit. That was all that decided that fight. So, LeBlanc passive when she re gets reduced below a certain amount of health. She splits in half, become, both become invisible. The clone and her were both under turret, and thankfully the turret targeted the clone instead of, uh, instead of the real copy. Otherwise, she would be a dead LeBlanc right now. Now, this is quite funny. She's just BMing this Gragas. He's trying to recall, and she should be recalling, but she's just poking him. She's two levels up. She's got, this, she's got her cooldowns back up again, and she's just backing. I'm just waiting here in the, in the brush with my ultimate. I'm just waiting here. This is not warded. I thought it was, and he was just baiting both of us and waiting, wasting our time. Turns out, that's not the case. So he goes in, I just ult straight onto his face, his barrel, he can't activate because he's CC'd. So this thing's just sitting here ticking, goes off safely when we're out of the circle. Cool, I just spam laugh a bit because I'm rude. <laughs> well, Black goes back to base, I get some damage down this turret. I should actually be going to get this right now, because this is up. Um, but I decide I want to get some minions mid and push tower a bit. Um, this is actually not a bad plan as well. Right here, I should leave. I've already got the extra wave of minions, but I want to get a bunch of damage down on the tower. Uh, and then I run run over here. I wanted to go get this blue buff afterwards. I wanted uh, Gragas to maybe come mid, um, but that's not happened. Another instance of uh, the Scion and Twitch combo. Twitch just stealths in. Morgana's all the way down here because she's worried about Scion. Uh, and then Twitch just gets to unload on MF. Uh, they want to probably dive her here. Or take turret. I'm walking in behind. LeBlanc's already here. Uh, I got this guy. 
No problem. She's got a. I don't know how. I don't know if I can just sense him because of his blood trail, or if I actually got vision of him somehow. Anyway, walk up to him, fear him, slow him, kill him. Uh, Sion's running. I think we know that Gragas is here. Good spell shield by Morgana. A little bit unfortunate bind. I'm just gonna heal up a bit. I took a bit of damage from the tire there. Um, kind of muck around here a little bit. I go clear a ward that they just placed. Uh, LeBlanc jumps over the wall, poops on his ear. This guy's really greedy. He's trying to get his blue buff. I just ult him just in case. I expected him to flash over. Uh, did he have flash? It was almost up. Uh, all good. Get a dragon. Fast forward this a bit. Uh, yeah, Fiora vs Riven. Alright, this is a good example of how important uh, Fiora's W is. Okay, so Fiora gets a nice little uh, initiate. Three levels up, by the way. 5 2, zero, 6. This is how ridiculous Fiora is. Riven ults, jumps away. Two. Third leap she had to hold to wait for the repost to finish, but in that time, uh, Fiora's been doing damage. Heals up off her ult. Ridiculous. So, Riven's 37 CS up. 06 Fiora versus a 5 2 Riven. Three levels up, and Fiora ult plus W can turn the fight that hard. That's that's pretty pretty disgusting. Uh, Alright, so we're coming by. I just want to put this into tower. Um, get a bit of poke on to Twitch. I'm kind of not really keen on this. You can see I'm trying to back here. Uh, Twitch ults and just like smashes. Smashes <laughs> uh, Morgana very quickly. I'm just going to do my jungle because this is a bad idea. MF just needs to leave here. She's too low and there's a Twitch in the game. And Twitch is self and... Oh, dead. I'm Oom, so I'm just going to do my red buff. I can't stop her from being stupid. That's her own issue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go keep doing camps. LeBlanc comes in. I think she's keen for to fight this, but I'm Oom. Uh, Riven TPs, that's fine. These guys will clean this up easily. LeBlanc ignites this guy. He barriers and then tries to ult out. That was just a waste of a summoner spell and a, and a cooldown. Uh, I came in just in case. I'm just going to go back. Greg is doing his buffs. Azir pushing mid, which is okay. Uh, he's not really going to be trying to come down for this. Uh, getting the hell out of there. Bit of a counter. Yep, LeBlanc used all her cooldowns. I think she was trying to go this way. I'm not sure, maybe misclick. Uh, yep, MF coming in with the slow, thankfully. Nearly loses her life. Redemption from Organa saves the HP. I'm coming from base. I'm pretty keen to fight this, to be honest. Um, nothing happens, they all back off. I'm just clearing vision. I want to get uh, Scuttlecrab. Uh, Fiora doing weird things. Now this is super weird. So she places a ward. I place a pink, which cancels it out. But then she just engages on Riven anyway. I read Smite Air. Uh, some stuff happens. I want to say lag, but it wasn't lag. It was just brain lag. <laughs> I thought she was going to repose and then finish her off. So I've gone to like alt to secure the kill, but Riven secured it first, and then I've just ulted back to my jungle camps faster. So let's just say I wanted to go farm really quickly. Uh, bot lane again dying. That flash was terrible. Why that ult was terrible. There's no way you're getting away from Gragas this far up. Um, just not respecting the Twitch Zion combo again. They got a kill on Twitch, but it's just it's just not worth it. You're just trading kills with him, and Morgana is the one getting most of them. I think not the best. You don't want to fed Twitch. Twitch is very capable of carrying games, especially when he's got like. Uh, a wall to hide behind, a Sion to hide behind, and a Gragas to hide behind. Alright, so I queued through that minion trying to get a bit of a speed up. I want to re-engage on these guys, but they're just going to get away too fast. Uh, Riven, half health. Three levels up still. Oh, Flash stun. Doesn't matter about the W now, because she's already just... Yeah, she's just already got too much damage down. Uh, this is a bit of a crazy fight here, so this Gregus ult splits us up, 
I put my E on to reduce my damage and fear two people away so I can walk out. Cyan engages on LeBlanc, LeBlanc just pops him. Great stuff there. Uh, Cyan trying to knock up MF, it works. Twitch in stealth. Unloads on LeBlanc. Uh, MF heals. Cyan get a bit CC'd. Uh, nobody dies, which is kind of crazy. I just walk away because I'm too low. I got CC'd pretty hard. Um, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Gregus clearing wards. I think she wants to go in on this. Uh, I'm just doing uh, a plant and scuttle to heal up. <coughs> Redemption comes in from Organa just to heal everyone up before the fight. Twitch is really bad here. He's his whole team just recalled, and he wants to. He's right next to the turret, trying to assassinate someone. So it's watered, so I get spotted. Uh, I actually do something really dumb here. I, I think, oh, I can chase him. I know he's here. This will speed me up. So I press W. A bit late, probably. Run over the speed buff. Uh, Twitch knows I'm following. He stealths up. I'm like, all right, maybe I can just uh, catch up to him. And then I know his team's in there, and I just have to ult out. But Twitch flashes and chases after me. I flash as well, but the whole team is here. Like, literally the entire team is here. Uh, my team's chasing as well to try and do something. I'm just telling him to go away. I think I'm like, nudge back off. That's my bad. Overextended. Got too greedy. Uh, Riven's doing the right thing. She's pushing butt. Uh, there's no reason for these two to be here. They're just going to get killed. They should just be backing up. MF should be maybe slowing behind them so they don't get chased. She's too close. Uh, LeBlanc hopefully can escape with her abilities. Morgana ults to slow people down. Not a great MF ult, unfortunately. Uh, bad sign ult, which is nice. LeBlanc recalling. Yep, she dies. MF is now too close to everything. Riven can't get over the wall. She messes up her combo, and his ears poking her now. Uh, I'm coming from base, but it's going to be too late. Riven does get the kill onto Twitch, which is good, but we lose a lot of people. MF dies. Um, Fiora is just top pushing now. <coughs> I just want to clear the waves and wait for my team to respawn to fight. Um, LeBlanc doing crazy damage, just pops the sign because he doesn't have any. He's got a freaking dust blade, this is ridiculous. Alright, bit of a troll build there, dust blade. I, I know that AD Sion is a thing, but I don't think it's great when you're a support and you have no gold. Okay, good bit of poke there. Uh, I'm not keen to engage because this turret's in the way. But I can now sprint it as the so I'm running around. And I just ult him over the wall because Gregor stays to play with the LeBlanc. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm going to go I'm gonna go do uh, Infernal. We have four mountain drakes already, which is ridiculous. Like, we should be doing dragons, barons, towers so quickly. Gives you bonus damage on those things. Uh, so I start doing this. Even backs away from the, the Twitch. Uh, these guys really want to dive him. Oh my god, that Cyan ult nearly got her. MF walking up a little bit close again. Again, no vision and a little bit out of position. The redemption saves her butt. Uh, I walk through turret to come and back my team up to make sure that they didn't get engaged from a bunch of sides. Uh, Fiora TP's in. Azir's coming. Gragas is coming from base. I'm pinging my team back. They've got this watered. I'm like really not keen on this anymore. Uh, I then I think I see Rat Gragas coming here while these guys are fighting because they just keep going. They just keep going. They want it. Um, they do get people pretty low. Yeah, double kill there. I'm just trying to fear. I'm trying to fear this Gragas away so he doesn't turn this fight somehow. Keg misses. Uh, well, Garner flash ults under turret for no reason. Suicides and dies. Uh, Gragas goes down, Simon Passive finally dies. This guy just needs to leave, like, the two of us can kill this guy easy, like, I could just one, like, I'd just kill him. He's so low, I'm getting, uh, Blood Scent Passive, so I'm chasing him much faster than normal. I don't need anybody else's help to secure this, but LeBlanc comes in and secures it. Secure. Yes, secures it. Uh, Twitch coming from base. Now, I know Twitch is coming. I want to take this turret, so I'm just going to stay, because it doesn't matter, he's not going to kill me, like, I have a lot of armor and health. 
Uh, I think Riven here is trying to bait, and I think these two are both want to bait Twitch, even though this is watered. This is this is kind of dumb. This is just greedy stuff. So <clears throat> Twitch coming in stealth. He's like he's just he's just gonna pop this pop this along. He wants to make a pay for being disrespectful. So yep, kills her. Uh, he does die, of course. I just fear and uh, Riven does some more CC, cleans that up. I'm not sure that was worth for Twitch. He has 10 deaths now, which is ridiculous. Uh, anyway, fast forward this. Go steal the blue buff, because blue buffs are great, and I don't have any mana. Uh, I've done the dragon already, so that's all good. I want to get some vision around Baron, because I don't like having it. Um, this 2-8 MF comes and takes my red buff. I'm 7-1-5. I would much rather have had that. I think I'm probably autoing more times in fights than she is. But anyway, she goes and takes that. Um, Riven wins another 1v1 top, uh, LeBlanc's taking my blue, which is okay because I've actually got one, but I was kind of keen on A buff. Uh, in base, I'm buying a GA now, so I've got, um, got Titanic, I've got a Randuins for the for the crits on Twitch, because he's, he's quite fit, he's got 8 kills. Uh, a bunch of health, uh, I've got my Cinder Hulk, and now I'm buying a GA, so that if I go into a fight, so I don't have to worry about dying. It's only really Twitch and um, Gragas that are doing stuff to me. This is bad. Riven has been split pushing. And when Fiora comes, that's fine because she beats Fiora at the moment. But she wasn't waiting till the rest of the team was in position to do something about it. So she just ran into the jungle or got faded into the jungle somehow and has nearly died. The team's going to try and save her. Um, Morgana again going in to try and save her when probably shouldn't. I'm, w I'm watching Twitch here. I'm thinking that Twitch is around the side waiting to ult people. Uh, my plan here is just to run at Twitch and stop him from, yeah. So I flash ult, he flashes away. I, I think I actually missed anyway. Uh, I, don't, I underestimate how fast he runs away. I fear he doesn't do anything. Scions, uh, trying to get back to base. Slow, fear. Do I do fear? No, I don't fear. Okay. Yeah, I fear now. Okay. Get him off me. Twitch is trying to order over the over the uh, wall. Alright, so we get another another free kill there, which is nice. So I go back and steal the jungle, waiting for my team to get the minions up here. Three dead for a little while. I'm not super keen to push this. Um, I've got a wave in bot lane at tower down here that Riven's collecting. Uh, we have a lot of vision in top, which is really nice, and we're more likely to get a pick because of that. So I just back off uh, MF and I do scuttle. Uh, no jungle camps up or anything, so I go back. Uh, I think I get a GA here. I see my dear. These two shouldn't be looking for fights, but... Well, she nearly one shot switch. That's nice. Uh, I complete my GA, get a pink ward. Uh, again, the vision scores. It's always interesting to see... Uh, what the vision scores are like, and it's a, kind of a good good uh, way to see who's doing well and who isn't, and why. So you'll see that Riven's got 24 wards. I've placed 33, so I've placed more than our support, who has a bloody sight stone. Uh, and our AD carries placed 9. 9 wards all game, you know, 29 minute, 29 minute game. <laughs> One every 3 minutes, not the best. Um, I'm just trying to pressure into the jungle here. Get Gragas off his camps. What I really want to do... Oh, okay, he's just going to turn around. So, he runs away. Uh, I want to get this turret. Now, Twitch unloads on Riven here. She just tries to get to him, but can't. Because, uh, yeah. He just kills her beforehand. So, I've walked in with my fear on. Probably could have let that go off first, but I kill him anyway. Uh, Morgana ulting one target and getting slowed and stunned. Can't do much here. Uh, we're chasing this Azir down, but can't finish it. I'm then coming down to try and peel for my team. They somehow kill Fiora. We'll get a chain onto Cyan. He dies. Passive coming back. Whalen on Morgana, who's for some reason just walking in circles here, just waiting to get killed. Uh, Black Shield was good. Greedy Gragas. Kill him. All good. All good. Four for one. Not bad. Uh, as usual, I let my team push for the turret while I go get the dragon. Uh, so we now have four mountain dragons and a infernal dragon. Pretty sweet. So we melt turrets and uh, baron really quickly, and got a bit of bonus damage as well. Uh, I want this blue buff. 
Uh, Twitch is coming down. We've got a little bit of vision here. Uh, let's see if we can place a ward in here. Take the blue buff away. Walk away. Uh, Morgana's waiting at our red to help MF take it. But I think I, I think I just come in and snag it. Uh, MF's got one kill and two deaths or something since the last time she took a buff. Uh, Rhythm just being stupid. She has zero vision in this entire side of the map, and she just flash engages onto a Fiora um, when we we see zero people on the map. That's just really bad, and could potentially have meant Baron because I was down here doing a buff and this was all unwarded. Uh, LeBlanc kind of baiting some baiting some stuff here. Gregus with a nice combo, but it, without any additional damage, doesn't do much. He's got a Righteous Glory, and yeah, like only a nice one Gorman, it's not nearly enough to kill a super, super fed LeBlanc. Um, nice bind. This is some bad positioning, I think. Let's go back, watch this. A little bit slower. She gets away. Uh, so we've got Twitch coming in, Invis, wanting to stealth kill someone. What is this? Oh, oh, one. One order. Good bind. Good follow up. Good ult. Good ult. Gets CC'd on the turret. So I um, can't finish it off, but Azir might be able to. No. Nope. Uh, fucked up his combo. He does get the kill. Sion goes down, I think. No, he survives. I ult over the wall. Back. That was actually a pretty funny ult. Scion somehow survives all this. He's got barrier, a bunch of shields and stuff. Not quite enough. Whee! Dead. Cool. Uh, I'm keen to keep fighting. I think Morgana and I can actually 2v3 this. Uh, I get slowed too much by the barrel. Can't get the fear off on him. Probably used it a bit too early. Uh, fear of pushing mid. She's level 15, I'm level 16. Uh, I'm still like 60 CS up on her, and a bunch of kills, so I'm way stronger than her. Uh, Morgana wants to chase this guy. I kind of entertain the idea for a bit, but then I realize that we're chasing into darkness and I don't want to die like the Riven did, so I back off. Uh, I go get the farm that Morgana's trying to take because I can always use it better than her, I think. <laughs> Riven goes back to split pushing again, no vision in this jungle. Not at all, so you can see three, four people converging on her. And we can't really do anything because she's on the wrong side of the map. If she was bot, we could get Baron if four people came up, but because she's, yeah, this is just really bad. Uh, we're just, I'm just going to try and ping, like, ping to go mid. Everyone's trying to save her. I was just going to let her die and just go mid instead. She, if she gets out, great. If she doesn't, that's fine. Turns out, great MF ult. Um, we're going to ult, doesn't do anything. Uh, Twitch unloading on LeBlanc, doesn't get it. Uh, I'm coming in from around the back. Uh, fear, flash fear, get fear off on both of them, really good. Uh, Scion dies, no worries. Twitch flashes out because I'm walking around for him. Uh, Gregus gets a kill on Morgana because she was super low. Uh, I'm just keen to go push mid now. Push mid would do Baron, but probably push mid. So Riven decides she's going to chase the Gregus. She's four levels up, she's pretty strong. Uh, it's a little bit risky, to be honest, but that's fine. Uh, I was going to go chase this guy while MF pushed mid, but she knows that... Uh, she's actually been quite smart here. She knows that Twitch is alive and she can get assassinated, so she backs off mid. I should have gone with her, to be honest. That was that's bad by me. Uh, Riven finally actually fights the Gragas. Um, she's just got too much sustain. Uh, for him, which is kind of funny, because Gragas has a huge amount of sustain. MF mid. Twitch luckily just started autoing just as she came around the corner. If she'd wait, if she'd come a little bit earlier, Twitch might have just you know, mowed her down there. Uh, so what I, when I say she was being smart by backing off, I don't know if that was actually smart or just lucky. <laughs> Twitch has well, nearly full items now, which is a bit scary. Uh, Riven TPing into Fiora, and again. You watch this, three levels up, which is fine. Pretty strong, like full build. But you watch how far she chases. So I recalled because I want to go get some stuff and go to Baron. My team's following her up, but look how far she dives. Good W by Fiora there, good flash. Uh, yeah, she ults. 
procs are vital. Gets the GA off her. These guys try to dive Twitch, get melted. Uh, she just dies because she's only one person. Yeah, she nearly got out, to be fair. Sino luckily misses. Uh, I was really hoping my team would just back off when uh, Ruben went into their base, but they didn't, so I'm now trying to come and help. I actually think I'm strong enough to fight. To okay, so... <laughs> pretty funny. Um, so my plan is... <sighs> let me come through here, and I want to I wanna ult across. I actually want to ult across to get a Zia here. But he flies through, and then there's this little lag here, if you see it, but he stops here, and then his soldier moves forward, and he, like, leaps a little bit extra forward. Let's see if you guys can see it. Apologies for doing this three times, but I want you to see this. Just running away. I'm coming in hot. Slow it down to 0.25 so you can see. So, watch his ear. His character goes through the wall and then stops here, and then his soldier goes through and he completes the animation. So he stops here for a sec, I ult in that direction, and then he just like teleports forward and I miss and I hit the scion instead. Hilariously. Uh, MFQs and ults through and just wrecks them. Just wrecks them. You now this guy has like an adaptive helm and not much else. He's gotten rid of his um He's gotten rid of his armor pen item, which is nice. Yeah, he doesn't have his dust blade anymore, so his team's obviously complained about it because he's not tanky enough. So he sold it and replaced it. Um, I just leave because that was beautiful and we don't really need to fight this anymore. Uh, MF's still keen for some reason. Um, but they're obviously keen as well and they're pretty strong. I, I think we can still fight them in, a, in an open space. So I W, try to get a bit closer. I get the fear on this guy. I'm just going to fight both of them because I'm just that strong. If Fiora had her ult up, I think I'd, I'd be a little bit uh, in danger of dying here, but I'm I'm pretty confident that Gragas can't do much. The champion just doesn't deal enough damage. Now he's sweeping out this pit, which is really bad of him. He manages to get out, which is good for him, and he manages just to slow me. Um, but that could have very well meant his death if I'd managed to get a fear off on him. Um, or at least getting chunked before Elder Dragon. Now, Elder Dragon is super, super nice for my team because we have three mountains and an inferno already. So I just see, I just see Fiora and Twitch, and I'm just like, I don't care about either of you. I'm just going to walk into you. Gregus, uh trying to catch LeBlanc. Nice flash over the wall. Though he didn't actually have vision there. I don't know if you had tagged him with something or not. Uh, so I turn my fear on. I actually queue through the Scion to get closer to Twitch, which was quite nice, if I did say so myself. This is where things get awkward. Uh, Azir turns up and puts his turret down. And I'm fighting, I'm fighting these big beefy tanks that don't do a lot of damage, but Azir then changes that. Uh, my GA goes off. Um, I can't do anything this way, so I just try and kill the Scion, that's all I can do. I've got red buff, I think. I uh, get my bonus attack speed for when I'm low and when they're low. Managed to get the kill inside, but honestly, that wasn't super worth the second half of that fight. Probably shouldn't have happened. Uh, everyone's back up. Riven actually sitting in a bush here, waiting for the Azir to come get the blue. I was I was really not keen on this. Uh, fails a bit of a Q. Flash it over, gets a stun. She's just so fed now. 15 kills. Uh, yeah, nice play, nice play. Um, go clear that ward out. Get a blue buff for yourself. Fiora just decides to not worry about it. It's not worth the hassle. Ruben wants some more, but she's uh, holding off for the time being for some reason. Showing a lot of restraint that I didn't expect of her this game. Twitch wants to assassinate her, but there's nothing slowing her or uh, preventing her from getting on this, on him this time. There was a turret last time, and she just wasn't that fed last time. Uh, so we get a free Elder Dragon here. I'm running over just in case something bad happens. I want to try and smite it, but my team secures it. So that's really great. So we have three Mountain Dragons and an Infernal. So we just melt melt towers and barons and things like that so fast. Uh, I get a pick on Cyan. Really bad of him to be out this far when people are dead and they don't have much vision. Okay. Nice play by Azir. I come flying in with the ult. That was hilarious. So, 
Zoo plays this quite well, actually. So MF wants a piece. He goes, no, nope, get under my turret, flash. I don't know about the zonias. She flash shields out. I run in, huge leap across, secure the kill there. I'm not going to bother chasing this. I'm just going to get the turret. Uh, LeBlanc wants a piece, of course, as usual. Um, and she gets it. That's that's a very fair LeBlanc. 23 kills. Jesus. All right, so we're just going to try and uh, finish out the game here. Get the turret, get the inhib. Um, some nice poke from the Blanc there. She just shouldn't be doing anything at this point. W manages to get the kill. Twitch retaliates. I flash onto him with fear. I was expecting these guys to stick around. Nearly kill him anyway. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, Twitch Twitch just can't kill me at this point. Like I'm I'm way too strong. Still two levels up on him. Oh no, he's, he's 18 now. Never mind. But I just have so much armor. Twitch unloading onto the Riven, she gets a stun off, we finish her, finish her off. Uh, Riven super low, somehow doesn't die to the Azir. Uh, great spell shield I guess there, double fear by me, kill this guy. Uh, Gragas here, he wants to go in of course, his team's up in 10 seconds so he thinks maybe he can stall it. Riven just mucking around with him, I'm clearing out minions, I probably should just be hitting the in the next assault, him, uh, he does pop her GA. I just decide I'm going to chase her down because there's a bunch of people dead for ages. Uh, MF comes in, oh, dead. Uh, yep. Fiora comes in, gets feared, gets gets smacked. She just decides she's altered me, so she just wants to she wants to try and she wants to try and finish me off. MF alt. She flashes over. I accidentally. Q her or auto her or something on the way out and get an extra kill for the last last part of the game. So pretty crazy game. Hopefully you can all follow enough of that. Thanks for watching. Again, questions, comments, suggestions, feel to feel free to leave them down below. We'll see you next time.